right, today I'm going to be doing a quick walkthrough of my Pelican Bass Raider build. You know, it is the winter here. Might as well start on a new project pretty soon. Get ready for the bass season coming up. And maybe here's a couple good ideas you can use. So this is the Pelican Bass Raider. 10 foot boat. Now typically when you get it, it comes with just a plastic shell basically as shown and i think these are awesome because i mean there's no end to the customization you can do here with these i'm going to start with right here the very first thing we did was put a drainage hole here like a scupper hole kind of thing you know make sure you get it sealed real good but the reason you want that is because water will inevitably splash in your boat and you don't want to be using a bilge pump to get it out all the time. This way this will just help drain it right out. Works great. We've been using it for a couple years now. Let's see. Next, I built these wooden side lockers that raise up. Wooden got some marine carpet on them. I put hinges on the side, was able to bolt them into the boat real good. These serve really nice, they're really good to even just put your feet on so you're not putting your feet on on this hot plastic during the day when, when you're fishing outside. Got some cup holders mounted in there. Made some ghetto but very effective PVC rod holders here as you can see. Another cup holder here anchor cleat I put in here you can just drop an anchor I just put this anchor out for the video here now I have made a video like this before on this boat I didn't like the way I did it so I'm redoing it today I did have one idiot comment on there though at one point oh well how are you supposed to lift the lift the thing up is isn't all your stuff gonna just fall in the water if you need to get something out from the storage compartment under well not really and you can see the pole stays in just fine and you know what else is always an option wow so difficult whoa and yes this is also where we keep our paddles just in case of emergency Another paddle here. On this side I've also got one, two cup holders. Another anchor cleat, usually we have one in the front left and in the rear or the right of the boat. And it keeps it pretty stable wherever you drop your anchors. Next, I want to just show you like, you know, I sealed off anywhere where any bolts went just to be have a peace of mind to know no water's getting into the hull or anything I took off that crappy plastic outer lining and I flex sealed the entire outer edge of the boat looks a little ghetto but does the job really well helps protect the boat pretty good I mean this boat is as solid as I think you can get a fishing boat if you ask me I prefer the seats that come with the Bass Raider, just these plastic seats. The, uh, the support is good for my back. My lady usually sits up front. She likes the soft cushion captain's kind of seats, which I'm fine with too. But I usually just put one of these floaty squares on here for cushion on the bottom and I'm good to go. Next we made this this floorboard here. This is a three quarter inch plywood here. Uh, we had it water treated, of course. Put some nice astro turf on it. And again, it's a much more sturdier thing to stand on and it's better than standing on the plastic in the hot summer. This boat is super sturdy. I've, I've literally been able to stand on the side like this on the water, doesn't tip. Me and my lady take this out all the time. We can both be standing. I'll be sitting back here like this. 
have the motor going doing some steering we'll have the uh coolers tackle box whatever we may need right here and typically we don't even put stuff in this storage we usually just keep the paddles in it we don't really find ourselves with any need for it in the long run we've got so much space right out here we're definitely ready for the fishing season coming up and yes before anyone asks in the past i would bash trolling motors but you know the fact is they're not so bad you know i got a good battery if we have to go on a lake that doesn't allow gas motors just bring this bad boy so we're ready to go at all times you know i don't usually keep the trolling motor on the front as well i'll usually just put one the gas or the trolling motor on the back i don't like to dual motor i just don't haven't really ever found a purpose for it if i need to uh slightly maneuver my position i can just whip out the paddle and it gets me right where i need to go these velcro straps are just for holding extra poles if we need on the side or just any extra sort of gear we used to put the paddles over there but we found they fit better under the boards let's see is there anything else i am forgetting no i don't think so you know overall we've had this boat this will be our third fishing season next year coming up in for this boat um we love it super sturdy we've even taken this on big deep water with big waves like in the ozarks and i know it sounds crazy but i mean we stay kind of to the side we don't go right in the middle but we've been just fine never had a tip over never had a problem never had flooding i mean this thing has been a dream and it can save you a ton of money you know you can just pick it up put it in the back of your truck here and you can be good to go uh, i just don't see not that i don't see why you wouldn't have a bass boat like an official bass boat because those are super nice but i mean if you're tight on space you want to save a good good amount of money i mean you can always get this put together for a sub two three thousand dollars i mean i want to say the boat itself when we just bought it all plastic was around a 900 maybe the mercury 2.5 motor was about another 900 eight nine hundred brand new i've probably got i don't know a hundred bucks worth of wood and carpet here paddles you know little cup holders things like that you know those will run you a little bit of money but not much i mean we're definitely under three grand here for everything trolling motor i want to say was around 300 we have the marine battery i'm not going to go dig it out right now just because you know it is winter here where we're at and uh it's just no point but you know hell i might even take this winter catfishing pretty soon and make a nice vlog of that anyways you know if y'all have any more ideas any ways i can improve any way this helps you please let me know i love fishing it's my passion my wife's as well and we're just ready for the new season to come up and also we don't take this just fishing they'll have lake days beach days we'll meet up with friends and we can put this thing right on along and we can jump on in we got no problem climbing back in we even have a ladder that can attach that attaches to the sides over here and uh, we can climb right on back in so let me know what you think you know we call this little guy the yacht potato here so take care um, thanks for watching thanks for your time and consideration subscribe if you feel so inclined there will be plenty much more to come